let's work on that hummingbird problem we just saw in the PowerPoint. So remember, the hummingbird starts, let's say here, goes nine meters horizontally, and then flies for three meters up. If you have different colored pens or pencils, you may want to color code it so it's easier to see. So we want to find that blue line there. We want to find both the magnitude and the direction. So finding the magnitude is really easy. As you can see, this is a right triangle, so you can use the Pythagorean theorem. Remember, Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So in this case, um, we would be doing 9 squared plus 3 squared equals c squared. Um, so that ends up being c squared equals 81 plus 9, which is 90. And then you take the square root of both sides. And you get that c is equal to 9.49. Let's make sure we write our units. Our units are meters. So this length here is 9.49 meters. However, we also want to know this angle here. Now for that, we need to do a bit of trig. So remember, the trig functions are sine, cosine, and tangent. Let's see if we can remember what sine, cosine, and tangent is. Well, obviously we can use Sokotoa. So, ka, toa. Which one do we want to use here? We want to use tangent because where you want to do opposite over adjacent. So here what we have is the tangent of this angle here is equal to 3 over 9. So the angle is going to be equal to the inverse tangent of 3 over 9. And for that, you should get 18.43 degrees. Um, we also need to add direction words in there. So remember, this line is what we call the horizontal. So we would say that the hummingbird flew 9.49 meters at 18.43 degrees above the horizontal. And there's our final answer. Let's do another problem. So here's kind of a fun problem. It involves pirates. So, while following directions on a treasure map, a pirate walks 45 meters north and then turns and walks 7.5 meters east, what single straight line displacement could the pirate have taken to reach the treasure? Now, I'd like you to always start by drawing these out. And you may want to pause the video at this point so you can try it on your own. All right, I'm going to assume that you've paused it and tried it. Let's do this together. Okay, so let's say our pirate, and then he can have a little peg leg. Let's say our pirate starts here. He goes 45 meters north, and then... 7.5 meters east. Now notice how I'm not exactly drawing these to scale, but I am drawing the 7.5 meters a lot less than the 45. So that should help you when, with, when you're doing these problems because you can almost guess what the resultant um, displacement should be.
in terms of both magnitude and its angle. So in this case, we want to find that orange line. So again, um, finding this part is easy. We just want to use the Pythagorean theorem. So this time we're going to be doing 45 squared plus 7.5 squared is equal to C. Um, if you solve, or sorry, it's equal to C squared. If you solve that through, I'm going to assume that you can plug that all into your calculators without my help. You should end up with that C is equal to 45.62. And we need to make sure we have units there. In this case, our units are meters. So we're going to write meters. Now, the trickier part is finding the angle. Um, we actually have two choices to find that angle here. I'm going to switch colors. That's so a bit easier for you to see. Let's just go for black. Now, you could find this angle here, or you could find the complementary angle here. Now, I always find it's better to find the angle that goes right above the horizontal. So in this case, this line here is the horizontal, so you want to find this angle. Now, to do that, you can sort of draw a symmet or a similar triangle right here. So this line is 45. This line is 7.5. And here is our angle. Now you'll notice we just want to use the tangent function again. Opposite, adjacent. So tan of the angle is going to be equal to 45 over 7.5. So that means the angle is going to be equal to the inverse tan of 45 over 7.5. What you should get for that is 80.54 degrees. Again, we need to add some direction words here. So what you should write is that the pirate went 80.54. 5, 4 degrees north of east. And you can just abbreviate that to north of east. And the reason we say it that way is, let's draw a little compass real quick. Hopefully I won't mess up this time. North, south, east, west. So this line right here is the eastern line. So we're making east our reference. So the pirate went this angle north of east. Now if he'd gone, say, that direction, we would have said south of east. And we'll be doing more problems like that so you can get used to the direction words. Nice job, guys.